Patricia Janice, uh, known to most of you as Sarah's mom. Um, we are just uh, publishing this new math craft book on multiplication. This is series B, and uh, this one starts out like the other with making your, uh, your magnets. Now, if you have your own magnets already, if you've done series A, then you'll have some. Now, uh, the Series A ones are, are a, uh, a therapy for dyscalculia, so we have a little bit larger. You can make them larger size, or I just found these little stick-on things at magnet set, magnets at uh, Walmart, and just be real careful when you set it on, because once it sticks, it's there. And then you've got your your magnets for the uh, first uh, activity in every uh, every day. So every lesson. So the lesson starts out with every lesson starts out with working with the magnets, and usually blindfolded. This is to uh, get a different part of the brain working with math. It's especially helpful for uh, kids who uh, have dyscalculia and need a really new foundation for understanding math. And uh, found it helps really well also with kids who have trouble just memorizing anything. Now, so the first lesson each day is going to have to do with the magnets. After that, you'll have uh, abacus. The first lesson, abacus is just counting. If you've gone through uh, series A, then they've got the counting down, no problem. And then every uh, time, most lessons actually start out with having you learn a new uh, multiplication table. So if you're learning here the uh, the fours then they it, the first uh, problem will always show you how to set up that problem and then oops here's learning uh, sevens and uh, how to set it up and then they then you do the one you set up and then you have ones where you you show how you set them up then you actually do it on the abacus and then you draw in where the beads go. And some lessons will also have something to help you relax and focus your mind. Uh, one of the uh, dyscalculia type games, I mean dyslexia games. Then we do skip counting. And sometimes we'll do skip counting charts too. Now all of this is just to get you ready for the games. It's not to make you memorize the facts, but just to familiarize yourself with them so that you can play the game at the end of the lesson. Now, uh, some of the games you have to make, and if you have already done uh, Series A, then you probably have your two decks of cards, and you don't need to make a new deck of cards. But you will have to make new domino games, because for, for the math, uh, multiplication, we're going up to, all the way up to uh, nine on the, on the domino games. Now, uh, one of the games is very similar to a uh, Yahtzee type of game, and you will have some times when you need to make special dice. Uh, like if you're going to do this one here is up to seven. As you notice, you've got a dice with a seven on it. So I just got these, I had these labels around so I can, uh, I'm using them. And you can also get price stickers or whatever will work for you. You can 
just I, they, they come like this and it, this one happens to work really well so you cover the one with the seven and now you've got a dice that works from uh, two to seven uh, for some of the games we have different types of games we have the ones uh, where you have um, you'll play with six dice and then we have another one where you play with three dice and you go all the way up to trying to make ten now that's not going to happen very often so we have something called lucky dice so what you do is you customize your dice so that as you notice this one is all just threes and twos. So you have, it'll tell you you need two lucky dice or three lucky dice. And you just make them, take them, cover. Whichever ones you're instructed to cover. So now, the, uh, these games can be played, just one child can play it by themselves. So much more fun though to play it with with another person or with a big group even it's uh, another game we play are card games and this one is uh, a variation of clear the deck and and it's really fun to play as a speed game against one other person that's where you really learn the facts because you need to know them right away. Um, lucky dice. And then we have the domino game. And we have a variation of chicken foot where we've just changed the rules just a little bit to make it into a, ma uh, a multiplication game where, where we uh, count up and multiply and uh, see that. Now, so every, um, every lesson will usually have, uh, first of all, a magnet activity, then the abacus activity, some skip counting, and then the games. Uh, but we'll have a few where we'll add some extra things because uh, there'll be a lesson where you learn area, uh, squares, squaring numbers, uh, odds and evens, and uh, ta making tally marks to count by fives. So, now you don't have a single test until lesson 13 because we don't want the kids learning for the test. To prepare for the test, we teach them how to uh, check their answers on a, uh, what we call a skip counting chart. And we actually show them for the first time in lesson 13, a times table. <laughs> then we have the test, and you notice at the bottom it says, check your answers, on the abacus, the times uh, table page, or the times table page, or with a skip counting chart. Put a dot, check, or, um, or an X next to any incorrect answers. They check that themselves, and they've done all of these in pencil. Then they have the next five activities that help them work on those uh, uh, math facts, those uh, the mysteries that they aren't good at, and we uh, um, at the end of it, then they erase the wrong answers and co put in the correct answers. Now, at the end of the book, you have one final page, one final uh, lesson that has another test, and it has activities that are all blank, like this is all blank. 
You can use this to practice skip counting on whichever uh, facts you're weak on. And you have this for um, all of the different things that you, that you do, whether it's the um, uh, just uh, the abacus or the skip counting or the or the different uh, the uh, Yahtzee game we have special uh, blank uh, Yahtzee scorecards I mean multiplication dice game <laughs> scorecards <laughs> so that it uh, they can really uh, uh, practice just the things that they're not good at and then you can use these again and again until it's easy for them. You can also use this for doing a time test or you can just let them have the amount of time you want. You know your children and you can make it fit their needs. So that's uh, the thinkingtreebooks.com <laughs> You can find, you can purchase this. It's a PDF because the first uh, uh, portion, the game pages that where you need to print up those things like the cards and the dominoes and cardstock have to be on cardstock. So we can't really put it in a book because these have to be uh, on something. On, it's a heavy paper, so it's a PDF. Okay, I think that's about it. <laughs>